Hi, welcome to this week's edition of the Dorm Gourmet. I'm your host, Mark Sledgehamner, and this is my colleague, Clint Smith. How you doing? He's going to help show us how to use a sandwich smoosher for all those on-campus needs. Correct. Start me off here, Clint. Okay, I'll start off. My partner, Sledge, here, he lives in the dorms, and he's like every other, you know, freshman or, well, your sophomore this year, every sophomore uh, college man, and he has his nice little refrigerator with one thing in it, and it's Gatorade. Sometimes Hawaiian Punch. And sometimes Hawaiian Punch. I'm out right now. Well, you know, you can't live on that. And the only reason he has that is because he has nothing to cook with. So, what we have here is an inexpensive sandwich smoosher, or uh -huh. sandwich maker. So, basically, it is two little chambers that separates your sandwiches, or whatever you cook, into small triangles that are, you know, nice and handy to eat with. Okay? First, what we're going to make today is a pizza. You like pizza? Hey. Whoa. Okay. okay. Cool. Well, first off, when you make your pizza, you take just a little bit of your tomato paste. You know, pizza isn't right without tomato paste. So you put just a little bit of tomato paste on both sides. And I usually season my tomato paste with a, either like a pepper and to, or Tabasco sauce or something like that. Make it just a little, little twang to it. And you like a lot of t tomato paste or just a little? Muy, very, okay. in Espanol. All right, a lot. So we'll put some on both sides then. Okay. So if you would, hand me the cheese over there, please. I would. Okay. Now I'll let you put on your cheese because I'm not sure exactly how much you want. What? what? Just grab it. So put on your cheese. Kind of sprinkle it. Balance yeah. it out. Just sprinkle it, yeah. Moderate amounts there. Both of them? But no, just on one of them. Because you can't there this cheese won't stick to the other side. Just cheese on one side. Okay. Then you take whatever meat or condiments or whatever you like on your pizza. So we put some meat on here. Which is what are we using today? Well today we're using just basically hot dog weenies cut into thin slices and seasoned with pepper. They're all cut kinda even too, somebody yes, took some time to do this here. Yes. But it doesn't have to take that kind of time, right? Huh? No, you can just you throw can it on there boss. real quick. And the good part about these is it, you know, you got your milk group with your cheese, you got your meat group with your weenies, you got your bread group with your bread, and with the tomatoes, you got your vegetable group. Sounds pasty. It is. So we're going to take this in here. We are taking it. Just set it right there. Okay. Now, but there's also another thing. You like eggs for breakfast? Cool. These things will cook breakfast, too. So we'll Dude. crack open our little egg right here and listen to it sizzle when it hits the, hits the pan. Okay, in about five minutes, you're going to have a nice triangle shape. I've got a question here for you. Yes. May I smoosh it? You can smoosh it. Do the honors now? Yes, go ahead. Go. All you do, close the lid. Close the lid and smoosh it down and without uh, spilling the egg. <laughs> take that. But I wanted to show you how close disaster can strike. <clears throat> okay. Any other questions about the sandwich smoosher? What are these features on the top here? We got lights going on. Okay, these little lights, this yellow one right here shows you that your power's on. So if you walk in your dorm room and, you know, late at night and you see a nice little yellow light on top of your sandwich smoosher, you'll know that your sandwich smoosher is on. And if there's nothing in it, you need to unplug it because you'll burn down your dorm. This other little green light here tells you when your sandwich smoosher is ready to cook. And once, once your sandwich smoosher is ready to cook, you throw everything in and wait, <clears throat> and you have a nice meal. So, uh, like, how many, if you wanted to cook for 10 or 12 people, would this be, what are, what's some advantages to it here? Well, the good thing about this, this is real quick and it's real easy. All you got to do, throw some bread and whatever you want on it, you can... Just throw it in there and you'll have something real quick. It's easy to cook. You don't have to worry no uh, you don't have to worry about it at all. What if you want to put lettuce or something on a sandwich there? That's fine, you'll just have hot lettuce. <laughs> so I never thought of it in that light. Yes. It, it, all, all it does is warm this see, is enlightening here. See the bread acts as an insulator to everything on the inside. And so basically nothing on the inside will burn. The only thing that'll burn is the bread. <laughs> it's very very nice. Yes. Very a unique aspect of the whole process. Yes, it is. So, 
This has been this week's edition of The Dorm Gourmet. I'm your host, Mark Sledgeminger, signing off with... And I'm Clint Smith. So, peace. So, let's check these eggs out and see how they look. Oh, it didn't cook all the way. <laughs> but well, that was only about a three-minute span, so you see what happens. Yeah, but it will cook them. Let's try this pizza. Cool. Really? You may do the honors. Try to, you don't, you don't want to have me here. <laughs> All right. I'm hey. lactose intolerant. Woo! Mama. Okay. <laughs> you can't beat it for the price. Does free. it suck? <laughs> it's free. Does it suck, man? I always love free food. <laughs> I finished cooking my egg. Sit over. Hello and welcome to Body Works. Today we have a great show for you. Today we're going to be learning some brand new aerobic steps that's going to keep us in shape. Please welcome Sonic. She's been doing dance uh, aerobics here for a while. And uh, exactly how long have you been doing dance aerobics? About 15 years. Wow, wow. Well, what are some of the exercises you're going to be showing us today? Um, we'll do a little warm up, um, some taps, and basic steps with a horseshoe thrown in. Wow, that sounds really exciting. I know something will really make this exciting. Let's pull a, a member out of the audience and have them come up here and work out with us. Uh, you, please, why don't you come over? And what's your name? Crystal. Crystal, great. Thanks for having, coming up in here, and uh, let's start this. <laughs> 